But let's keep on rolling. Let's talk some video games. Video games. And so, Nintendo has recently announced to everybody's chagrin that they will be stopping the production of the NES Classic, which nobody got their hands on. Everybody is very, very sour that they're doing this because 1. everybody 5 wanted one. People did. Huh? 1.5 million people did, but that's... yeah, but like five million yeah. people wanted it. So yeah, grossly <laughs> under, <laughs> under, underproduced system. And rumors are, and I believe they've been confirmed. Uh, but Brendan didn't think they had. I thought they had, but they're they're we're just going to call them allegations at this point. That one of the reasons they might have stopped production on the NES Classic is because they're working on their new classic system, and that might be the Super Nintendo Classic. And so this got me thinking. I love Super Nintendo. Brendan loves Super Nintendo. Really, this was the system we grew up gaming on. Yes, that's. The I mean, hundred percent. No of arguments. Possibly, we the played most some PC the, games. Yes. Played a little Sega here and there. Played Eventually, a little bit we had of a Nintendo. PlayStation. Eventually, we had a PlayStation. Well, but... PlayStation, but Super Nintendo was what sparked our passion yeah. for video games. I'd say. I think it was the first system that that we really had. Our, our older brother had other stuff that he didn't always let us yeah, play. Yeah, but the one that we had full access to. Yes. Was the Super Nintendo. The first games and so, I ever owned myself were for the Super Nintendo and things like that. There you go. So. so I just wanted to run down a quick list of games that I absolutely would adore if it's going to be on there. Like, if they're on there, I will pre-order. I'll do whatever I have to do to secure this system. And I'm only going to go through five games. Huh? (laughs) And probably so will everyone else. And thus, we'll have the same situation. Hopefully they ramp up production a little bit more this time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hit us with like 4 million units at launch, guys. They'll sell. Trust me, they'll sell. But let's just go over a couple games. So let's, let's start with the obvious. Obvious, obvious, obvious is we're going to get some Mario games. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping we get the full gambit of the Mario games too. We get, you know, uh, the Mario World, the Yoshi's Island. I'm going for, uh, how about a Mario Kart, the original? Eh? Yeah. yeah. That, that would be a good one that would line up with their pattern from uh, the NES Classic because mm-hmm. we don't have Excite Bike for the Super Nintendo. We do have Mario Kart though, which is the racing game. We also have F Zero was was an early one. F Zero was that a first party? That was a first party Nintendo. Yeah, it was. Well, it was it? a launch title for the Super Nintendo. There you go. So that was it was an awesome racing game. game. Yeah. So F Zero would be amazing. I don't know, Brendan. Uh, what are some obvious choices that you would like included on there? Well, obvious choices. Super Metroid. Again, Super Metroid, another first party title. That makes sense as a progression from they had Metroid on the first one. So so definitely mm-hmm. Super Metroid. Um, Link to the Past. There you go. Awesome. Another first party title. They did have the the first two Zeldas, right? On the classic. Yes. Yes. Correct. They had the first two, which was nice. There's only one on the Super Nintendo. So, you know, throw that in. And that's my personal favorite uh, Zelda game still. Uh, oh. Even though I do like plenty of the other games, and including newer ones. Good. And I really liked Link Between Worlds, which was the, I think, more direct Was that the GameCube? Sequel? No, that was on um, 3DS. It was a more direct sequel oh, okay. to Link Between gotcha. uh, to the Past. It had pretty much all okay, the same stuff. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'd never played that one, but it's good. Yeah. So those are some great first party titles we'd like to see, and it's it's not a stretch to think that those all will be included. I mean, it's really not a stretch to think that. I almost think it's more of it'd be more surprising if those titles we just mentioned weren't included, since they are first party Nintendo and they're like the the biggest ones. Um, but let's let's run through. Let's try some third party titles now. Looking at, again, what happened with the NES Classic, and they did include some Square games, I'm hoping that they include a ton of Square RPGs, because that, if you, if, like, if you look at it, that is the golden age for the, the RPG. Especially because for it was Squaresoft. Spe- well, yeah. Squaresoft was the RPG maker. In the, those, in the, in the 90s day. in general, Squaresoft just had it. For, for mm-hmm. RPGs. Any game they, that came they, out with a Squaresoft label on it was amazing. And they still hold up. That's the thing. Is like These RPGs were designed that they will hold up over time. So let's just run through a couple of them. Of course, Final Fantasy VI. That one has to be on there. It, it, they might call it Final Fantasy III. I don't know because it was released in America as Final Fantasy III. But Final Fantasy VI has to be there. They Absolutely has to. might want to try Final Fantasy. Or a lot of people really like Final Fantasy II slash four. So yeah, which was really good too. Which was really good too. Um, Chrono Trigger, definitely. Of course. I mean, yeah. I mean, that is the legendary one. Now, I personally, I think I was a little more fan of Final Fantasy VI than Chrono Trigger, but I, I can understand why people say Chrono Trigger is the greatest game ever made, and mm-hmm. a lot of people still say that to this day. I, I I prefer Chrono Trigger myself. Um, 
even though I really like Final Fantasy VI too. They're, they're both really good games. Like those two are possibly the best RPGs, RPGs ever on made. Super Nintendo in with four years around. Now there's some debate. Some people like other ones, but those were big hitters, yeah. and they're very good games. Yeah, and then we might also see another Square Soft, like the the Secret of Mana. I mean, I would be amazing. Love I would Secret really want to try tap so I could have three controllers to play Secret of yes. Mana, but uh, that's probably not going to happen. But I would still love to play it. Don't get me wrong; I'd still love to have Secret of Mana on there. And then, um, like there's Secret of Evermore. There's a whole catalog full of Square games, even the little or known ones that they could throw out. That would be absolutely amazing. Now I'll um, say, and s- I have seen a lot of lists that that lists a lot of Square Soft RPG mm-hmm. games. Uh, as being wanted on this system. Hell yeah. I'm going to think Max are going to get is two if they can, though. Because Squaresoft holds on to those games. Like, they did put Final Fantasy on the Allow Final Fantasy for the first yeah. one, but they don't make much money off of Final Fantasy. They still sell Secret of Mana. They still sell That's Chrono true. Trigger. They keep porting these Damn to, us for to still new buying these great games. And they keep selling them for $15 each. So Yeah, well... Yeah, and so they still make a ton of money. Um, but then let's move off of them. Let's go to like the Capcoms. Maybe Capcom we'll start getting seeing some of the fighting good. games. Uh, Capcom wouldn't be unreasonable. Maybe we'll get like Street Fighter Two. That was a Capcom. Is, you know, they'll probably if I would imagine if we were going to get any version of Street Fighter, we'd get Street Fighter Two Turbo Edition because that's really what everybody says launched fighting games as we know them today. Yeah. Not just the original Street Fighter Two, the Turbo Edition specifically. So I would I would like to see that, even though um, Capcom. Again, they still, or actually, they they recently got back into selling Street Fighter Two, uh, again. I think, or maybe they just never stopped. They keep selling. No, I think they they Street redid uh, they redid Turbo actually, yeah. two Turbo, and so yeah, so we get that. But then also from the Capcom catalog, wouldn't it be amazing to get Mega Man X and maybe Man Mega Man X Two and maybe Mega Man X Three? Yes, X Two and X Three. I don't know if we're ever officially they released were here. Released, and if they were they were they, super limited. They were really limited because it was at the very uh, end of the life cycle, um, and they were released again in a compilation um, for like the PS Two of the the Mega Man X like one through six. Yeah. Um, so, but I but that's a, a a property too that I could see Capcom allowing to be on this because I. Mm-hmm. I don't know I that they're the making a whole there. lot of money the from NES the classics. So yeah, and the, they leveled at least two on on uh, on the NES classic. So we should see at least I would think Mega Man X the first one. Um, mm. I know a lot of people prefer Mega Man X two, and that maybe they'll they'll skip to that one. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, and then and then another game manufacturer that I could see letting them use some of their games or you know making some sort of arena is Konami. Um, mm-hmm. Konami was big back then. Uh, I think now it's it's something else. It's is it still just Konami? Or I think it was still Konami. Something? I mean, they've they been struggling, struggle. but I thought that they're yeah, still they alive. Struggling. So this might this help month. give them a boost. Um, but you, they have the Turtles project, like the the Turtles in Time. Like that oh, is the yes. Turtles in Time the, on I, the I'll Super say... Nintendo. That is it. That is one that I haven't seen on anyone else's list, and I've been like, "What is what is wrong with you?" They're crazy. Turtles in Time. That is the like the pinnacle beat 'em up game, and Hell for yeah. the Super Nintendo, was possibly the best version because it had the uh, the Tetradome, which yeah, level, by far which, the best version. And even they the added didn't like have extra that. levels, like uh, five six extra levels in there for for that. So yeah, and I would like to see tournament tournament uh, tournament fighters, which was. It was like Street Fighter for Ninja Turtles, just because I love Ninja Turtles. And Donatello, I could just poke everybody with my staff from long distance. And I would like, expect them not to do that if they get Street I know, Fighter. But I'd like it. Um, but, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, but, yeah, that's like that's where I came up with it. Is there any other ones that you think I'm missing, Brendan, that you'd really love to see on the SNES Classic? Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I, I would expect to see maybe Kirby's... Um, uh, Some one of the Kirby games, which I think they oh, have. I'd love uh, to see Kirby's Dream Course on there. So amazing. Oh, and I'm, I'm sorry. There's I'm also sorry. A Superstar. Before we go any further, we omitted like the biggest omission of all time, which is almost guaranteed to be on it. Is it and a Mario that's game? Super Mario RPG? I'm yeah, I was going to say that that one will be a little tricky because that is a Square and a Mar- and a Nintendo. Property that's what I'm saying. That would make it easier. So Square would be like, yeah, 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 you can do that one since it's I, both of us. And here's one more because that is a great game. You know, I honestly, I I've been going through the paper mario series lately and i keep thinking man i, hate them. I really want to play mario rpg again <laughs> yeah i want to play i, number, I, I the enjoy real paper one, mario enough but mario rpg was where it was at so yeah. 
But I'm sorry, I cut you off, Brendan. What, what were you going to say? What other games do we miss? Um, you know, if, there's probably there was a million on the Super Nintendo. Like the Super Nintendo had just a bunch of quality quality games. Yeah. Um, I imagine I think there there were some other beat 'em ups that were were good on the Super Nintendo. There was um some additional like Double Dragons and, and Battletoads. Battle Toads games. Battle Toads, yeah. Which a lot like of people think of the NES of ones, but they were. I thought the SNES ones were. You know, it was the same thing, but better graphics and more stuff yeah. going on. It was yeah. a little bit more cool. Um, there's uh, a lot of people wouldn't think of this, but I actually would like to see uh, Spider-Man: Maximum Carnage. That was a fun beat 'em up. That was I do remember enjoying that one. That was a fun I one. doubt that will be on there. I don't think it was that popular. Uh and yeah, it seems like see Nintendo's it. been going with like their 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 greatest hits for at least that's what they did with the NES classic. Fair enough. Something though. we don't you, know. You want to sell the console. Yeah, something we don't know will ha- if it'll happen this time. Hopefully they'll have a bigger production line than they did with the NES classic. They yeah, also might put on huge. more games. They might say that it was successful enough. This showed enough interest. We can put on um, additional games. Maybe they'll charge more money. Something. Just link like it up to your the, the the Nintendo store. Let your download games. Yeah, do it. I mean, there was some enough. some rumors about you can make that. Make plenty but of money. It also that doesn't sound like they'll they'll actually want to do it. They might because yeah, it might take away pattern. from like the Switch or Wii U or something. Yeah, I've heard them all. But but hit us up. Let us know what you think. I mean, because this list was literally me and Brendan almost didn't plan to do the segment. And then we did plan to, and then we didn't. And so we didn't write anything down. That was just all straight off the top of our head. So hit us up. Let us know what games did we miss? What should we have included on this list? Hit us up. Comments down below. Number one's going to be Super, my face on uh, super huh? Punch-Out. I know people are going to say Super Punch-Out. and we're gonna I'm be not like, a really big fan of Super Punch-Out, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I mean, I never liked any of the Super Punch-Outs all that much. Not, but not a fan. Just not it really was a, fan. a popular game, and a lot of people do love it. So. Yeah, so... But uh, what can you do? But hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook. Oh, is good ways of getting a hold of us. Well, that's it. We're done.